Hello and welcome to Metal Vice in 666. I'm one of your hosts, Brian, joined with your other host. Karen. Uh, and Karen, what are we talking about for this episode? The Irish Rock and Roll Museum. Yeah, so let's start the timer and jump on in. Okay, so when we were in Ireland, we were just sort of wandering around Dublin. And the roads were like super fucking windy and we we're just sort of like going all over the place. I have no clue where we are. It felt very touristy in that little section yeah. of town. I think it's called Temple Bar. Is area. that where it is? Okay. Yeah. So it is very ter- very touristy. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I think it's by Trinity College too, so that's like a big Yeah, there wasn't there was spot. a college not far from there. Like yeah. I kind of honestly got turned around so bad oh, because yeah. it's, it's so hard. <laughs> so windy and whatnot. Yeah. But kind of fun at the same time just to explore. Um and we happened to come across this Irish rock and roll museum type thing. And we we didn't go to it when we were there first the first time. We the first weekend, yeah. yeah. Went to Limerick uh, and then came back for, for a night because I was flying out of Dublin. And when we came back into the city the, night, the day before my flight, we're like, let's let's go check this place out again. <coughs> so we, we did that. Um, I can't remember how much it cost. Do you remember the price? Oh, I should have looked that up. Like maybe 45 euros? Yeah, it really wasn't that bad. Oh, I guess 24 total. euros. So, yeah, probably 45 together. With the so, 24. Total. Yeah, so probably 50 euros total. Was yeah, everything. and I think it's supposed to be like an hour tour or something or other. Yeah. Um, we didn't really know what to expect going into, or at least I didn't. No, I didn't either because when we walked by the first weekend, um, it had like a state, like a picture of a stage and like. Um, artists playing and like um, stuff, you know, stuff yeah, like that, yeah. like guitars and stuff like that, like on the whole um, advertisement outside. So I assumed it was that you toured like backstage venue type thing. I kind of was expecting very similar to the rave open house that they had yeah. when we went in December and we were going to do an episode at 666 on that too for like Christmas and July, I think. Um, so that will be coming out in the future. But I was expecting, I guess, sort of something like that as well. Where yeah. I know I just said I wasn't I wasn't really expecting anything, but I do remember expecting Yeah, we, that. we thought, I mean, because we talked about it, like, if we were going to go or not, and then we were like, but it looks really cool. Like, it's like you do a backstage tour type thing. Right. So, yeah. Um, turns out that the day we did it, there was, like, a Czech Republic metal band in town or something. Yes. Playing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they were going through soundcheck when we were going through our tour. So maybe yeah. that's why we couldn't go behind stage oh, and stuff. Poss- poss- like, maybe they do. Sometimes, tour- maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Um, but we show up, we pay our ticket fees and whatnot. They tell us, hey, you know, go hang out in the bar that's next door. We were going to go to check out that bar anyway, yeah. not knowing they were sort of connected right. in the same company and whatnot or same organization. Uh, so it was kind of cool to go hang out there. I can't remember what it was called. Crowbar. It was called Crowbar. Crowbar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was like, that's kind of cool. Sounds like a metal band name that we uh, we know of. Yeah. So um, let's go check out and get a beer there and whatnot. So we sat there ahead of time. Our tour guide comes in. Alan was his name. Um and we end up going on tour with him and a bunch of other people. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a self-guided right. tour or a tour tour with, like, a guide and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Alan, There's people from all over the world, too, like were. Germany, uh, Ireland. Another person from outside of Chicago. Yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, Canada. Canada and Czech Republic, I yep, think. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was a good time. Uh, a good group of people, I want to say, like 12 people or so. Uh, maybe, yeah. There maybe about? more, 15. Maybe. maybe something like that. Yeah. 10 he to said 15. It was, he said it was kind of a bigger group. Than oh, did he? Okay. I, th- I think it was either that or the Jameson distillery that we did that yeah. was a bigger group. I can't remember. Anyways, it was a it was a decent sized group. Yeah. yeah, and Alan was super fucking cool. Made the tour yeah. a hell of worth yeah. it. Like just his knowledge of it. He's been working there for fucking ever. Yeah. And showing us all the merchandise, not merchandise, the memorabilia they have like... um. Uh, uh, Michael Jackson's pajamas, pajamas that, yeah. like the owner of this establishment somehow became really good friends with Michael Jackson and like the exchange pajamas yeah. apparently. I don't know if we even said, but the, the whole building is actually a recording studio. Did you say that? I did not, but it's oh, weird okay. because it's, it's a recording studio. It's a practice studio yep. and it's a live venue in a live venue. Yeah. Plus a bar. Yeah. All like all in this one area. The, the recording studio is across the street now it from is. This. Now it is. It yes, used to be there. Yeah. But the practice spaces. Oh uh, no! It was always across the street. I think it was always. Yeah. 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 The rehearsal spaces were in the same building with the, the venue and the bar. Yeah. Um, which they Alan was telling us is twenty dollars an hour for a rehearsal space. Yeah. And they will give you your drum kit, your amps, your your sort of um, your your sound boards and whatnot, everything you need to rehearse and practice, except for guitars. Yeah. Because, like, guitars can bring their own guitars. They look cool carrying them anyway, so they're going to yeah. do it. But a drum kit, there's no way you're hauling that. <laughs> we immediately started you. laughing because it's like, 
walking down the street with your drum kit. Right. Yeah. And those cymbals are fucking heavy anyway, so. Yeah. Um, but all along the walls as well, records and album covers yep. and whatnot. And, and sort of like the CDs. Yeah, there's different rooms. Like, there's a U2 room. They do uh, have a whole theme for the U2, exactly. Was that the only room? Actually? I think so, yeah. Okay. Well, then Thin Lizzy kind of has his own room in the yep, recording yep. studio. Yeah. Uh, there's a little video that goes along with it talking about Irish music. And yeah. honestly, there was a lot more Irish that music so much, than yeah. I had thought of. I didn't know Hos- Hoser was from Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Um, then Lizzie was another one I didn't know was from Ireland as well. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. I and forgot Actually, about like, Thin Lizzie, I think, went to school where Alan went to school. I think he said that, so, yeah. So, like, not that, I don't think he knew him, but, yeah. like, went to the same, what do they call that, uh, primary school? Right. Yeah. And then he was talking about U2 and how they came up with their name. Yeah. And, like, that was, it was really fun because he was doing a bit with, uh, like, one of the German girls. He was like, and what was their first name? And then oh, yeah. she would say U2. Like, what was their name? Like, he was talking about U2. Oh, like, yeah. And this band got started. And what was their name? We're in the U2 room. He's, like, setting her up. And she's like, U2? And he's like, no. And he gives off whatever yeah. the name was. He does it, like, three times or whatever the name, whatever iteration the names they go through. And eventually, he's like, stick with it because the next one I think you might get right. <laughs> And then sure enough, like, yep, that was right. You yeah. too, you had it. Which I guess in Ireland in their primary school, well, at least in Dublin in their primary schools, they have, like, um, the priests? No. It's something with Catholic, but it's, like. Well, they, he was talking about how they name their schools, and there's right. different ways to name it, like each yeah. sec- district and whatnot. I can't remember the, this particular way they name it, but I think he said you name it by priest, or that's the yeah, word Yeah, that's what I was trying use. to say. Okay. Yeah, and then. So they were taking that, like, however that was, and then they were in the second year, so they were, like, in the U, too. Because the school you go to, there's a P school, a U school, and there's however many schools there are that spell out priest. I don't know how to spell priest, yeah. so. Well, that, priest doesn't have a U, so. Then I don't know what it was. but It, it was something with the priest, but it had something to do with U and two. It was the second letter of the word, and that's the school they were in, and they were in the second, or not the second letter of the word. The U comes from the word that was representing yes. it. Oh, Dublin. It was Dublin. Oh, Dublin. Yes, 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 yes. Duh. Um, yeah. The schools are named for the priests. The the classes are done by Yeah, I don't Dublin. know about the schools being named for priests. I thought the no, schools that. were... Anyways, that has nothing... We're at 666 already, but that has nothing to do with this. Yeah. Uh, but that's how they got their name. Was that's Dublin. what Alan said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dublin. Yeah. They went to the U school, and they were second year of the U school. Yeah, yeah. Um, we didn't really touch on the recording studio that much. We brought it up, but we did go across the street and go to the recording studio... Uh, it's all digital now, I believe. They do have a soundboard, like an old tape soundboard uh, that Alan brought up as well, saying, like, there's another one of these in operation that I th- might be the only one left in operation now that uh, Dave Grohl sort of owns that he got from Sound City. Yeah. Which we came back and rewatched that documentary again because it's a great documentary uh, and great story about that board. Uh, but that's in the Thin Lizzy room you were talking about. Before we got there, Alan was telling us stories about his time meeting Sinead O'Connor, uh, yep. the kind of crush he had on her, just sort of like <laughs> as a young kid being like, oh, my God, I'm meeting my idol, my yeah. crush and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but he did that in front of this giant, giant poster for Nirvana yeah. on April 8th that they were going to play in Dublin. Yep. Uh, they didn't end up playing that show because that's the day that they found Kurt Cobain's body. Exactly. Uh, and I thought that was, it's not cool, but it's like we, we love – concert posters yeah so it was really cool to see a concert poster and then like oh shit yeah like, and he had tickets to that show he said yeah when, yeah. He, was ki- when he was a kid so yeah oh it, it i get what you're saying it's not cool but it's like memorabilia yeah. of like uh, yeah it's just it's a, a good piece of history i want to yeah, say yeah, and yeah. good's the wrong word i don't know what, the, what I'm, you, I'm, yeah i understand what i'm trying to say people yeah. don't fuck it whatever yeah you're um, not being insensitive don't worry yeah 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 uh, and then, of course, we exited through the gift shop. Of course, yeah. Um, Alan gave us a QR code for a public, I believe it's public. I haven't yeah, actually checked out so. this playlist yeah. yet, but a Irish playlist that he's put together of just all the all the Irish music that's out there. And he's yeah. adding to it. So maybe we'll put the link for that in the description yeah, of yeah, this. Yeah, we can. Um, but all in all, I was super fucking pleased yeah. with this. It was a blast. It was totally different than what we thought it was going to be going in because we didn't know it was a recording studio and all that stuff. But, I mean, I... Honest, I, I don't know any of the other tour guys, but I think Alan kind of made it. Yeah. Um, you he know, sounds... such a great thing. You know, a great a- event because he's like so immersed in the in the Irish uh, cult or uh, Irish band culture, and he knows so much about yeah. the bands and everything. So yeah, when we were in the gift shop walking around after Alan left, because he's like, "Oh shit, I'm late for my last yeah. tour of the day. I'm a minute later, ten minutes later, whatever yeah. it was." 
um, the tour directly behind us that went right after us was now in the then living room watching the video. So yeah. they were like right on our heels yeah. going. So Ellen's definitely long winded, but it's it's really it's cool. good. Yeah, it, it makes for a really good tour. So the one thing we didn't ask is what it costs for recording time. Oh, right. uh, he did say the as I said the the, the rehearsal space is twenty dollars an hour, which seems super fucking cheap. But I don't honestly know. Yeah, for getting everything you get like the drum kit, the sound you get like the, your whole room that has right. couches and chairs and shit, and you get everything you need outside of guitars. Yeah. Do you remember? So I remember Metallica recorded an album there, like Eminem. Recorded an album there. Do you remember, like, the Metallica one? That was Sound City you're thinking of. I don't think Metallica recorded no, an album. No, because they had a, a thing of, like, all the albums that were recorded, and Metallica was on one of them. Are you sure? Yeah, it was in the... Um, so when we walked up the stairs in this uh, recording studio, they had, like, the thing on who recorded, and it had, like, a picture of the albums. I didn't see that. I yeah. didn't think so. Um yeah. Okay, we all have to do some research. I didn't think they recorded a song, an album there at all, so yeah, maybe they did. Okay, I didn't see that. So oh, okay, I figured you would have noticed it no, right away. No. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember seeing that. So okay, we'll have to watch our video because we are gonna put this into a Ir- Ireland at some point travel time. video, yeah, like a little vlog or something, like two years from now. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, that was super awesome. If you happen to find your way over to Dublin, um, definitely worth the time to check out. It, it's a blast. Um, Unfortunately, we didn't get to see a show there. Yeah. Uh, that would have been really cool. Um, but yeah, really if you cool didn't fly spot. out, we could have tried to watch the show that night. Exactly. Um, super cool spot. Just go out, explore, find random music. And like not, This wasn't listening to music, but it was going through yeah. the history of music, and it was so much fun. So yeah. go out and explore. Bye.